to my channel. So I've just finished filming a uh, autumn wreath um, make, come make with me video um, and I'm still drinking my hot chocolate from that so I just thought I would show you a few bits and pieces I've picked up from um, Poundland, um, Home Bargains and one item from Asda, all like Christmas, Halloween related. So um, grab yourselves a drink and as I said I'm still finishing mine. And let's get into the video. So, um, I've picked up quite a few um, like little stocking fillers and just a few items for my for my boys. I got this Jingle Bells musical book. <laughs> Never too early. Probably gonna roll back across that now. Um, which is one ninety nine. This board book for my youngest, which he will love, and I think I'll give that to him for Christmas Eve. Like in his Christmas Eve box. <laughs> um, this little reindeer's Christmas wish book, which 79p from Home Bargains for my eldest. It's just a lovely, lovely story for him. Also, potentially for his um, Christmas Eve box. Um, I got this scary, silly monster. What's it called? Silly Monster Scary Night. Book with googly eyes for 99p for my youngest for Halloween. I always do my boys um like a Halloween um little gift basket. I realise Halloween falls annoyingly on a Monday this year, which is the first I think it's the first day back of school after the October holidays. Um so I'm thinking this year of maybe making them up a box at the start of the half term of like autumn. Halloween inspired activities and cakes and books and things. So yeah, that's for my youngest and that'll go in there. Um, this touchy feely book for my youngest as well. Never touch books. You can see it's all like rubbery, I think. Hello. So I'm not sure which part you heard up to as my phone cut out, my battery died. I'm supposed to be quickly plugging it in, but nevertheless, here we are again. <laughs> um, yeah, this book is for my youngest for Christmas. Never touch books. Two. 49 from Home Bargains with like touchy feely little rubbery sections which I know he will just love and they there are so many I, I know the, there are dinosaur ones and other other ones you can collect but I've just seen I've seen this one um I got this like activity book for 179 from my eldest glow in the dark space activities with glowing stars which he will love in his bedroom and it's got like stickers, things you can pop out and do, um, dares to make the planets, card, battle cards, all sorts of things to keep him busy throughout half term. My youngest chose a rocket Christmas decoration for his little tree. Now this will be on the tree in his bedroom, <laughs> not the tree in the dining room. Um, yeah and this was 149 which but he just he just loves that. Um, now, oh, home bargains are, they just don't put the price on absolutely everything, do they? Um, I don't know why, but I, I can't even for the life of me find my receipt, which is so annoying for a few of these items. So anyway, I this, we picked up this little, you know, you can see the skeleton. Um, and I know he was less than two pounds, but he's just made of felt and his little movable body parts are just and come up from his ribbon for Halloween. Um, likewise, this also doesn't have a price on, but this was pretty inexpensive. It's a colour your own tablecloth for Christmas. Um, I'm actually going to put this on, like I think the elves are going to bring this one day, essentially on a weekend, um, and the boys can sit and sit and colour the table. I think that will go down well. And I got this Peppa Pig colour book for my youngest, also from Home Bargain, 79p. And I picked up two of these, um, like, letter to and from Santa with envelopes and accessories. So this is really good value from Home Bargain. Once again, no price on it, but it, was, it wouldn't have been too many pounds. It comes with a little um, door sign saying, Santa, please um, stop here. Some stickers. A pencil and a little Christmas pudding rubber on top and um, a letter which you can just fill in with your child's name 
an envelope and in the back it also comes sorry this is the letter dear santa in the back and this letter which you can write to your child is a letter from santa saying i've noticed you've been really good this year you know just something extra to get them quite excited and i know my youngest can't write his letter yet but we just thought we'll get him a letter as well so he's involved um this projection torch which comes with a I don't know if you can see very well, a pumpkin, a spider, a bat, a ghost, and a skeleton, a skull rather. Which, I think it was 99p. Now the, the, this book was 249 if I remember rightly. It's just a, a, note, a hardback notepad for my eldest for Halloween because he's very much into doodling and scribbling and he's learning to write his name at the moment and letters so he's constantly writing in something so this will go down well but also look press here to light up you see that he'll he will love that I think it has different like light settings so it flashes on and off and then it goes off um, and then I got two of these ones which also were two forty nine for Christmas for the roof for like the Christmas activity boxes. Um these are hardback notebooks as well and LED light up. You can see. Snowflakes light up and this four little penguins which says Merry Christmas and I was just thinking about the CPs. I also thought if I don't go in that activity box and perhaps the elves could bring me just like a little treat so just extra things to get them excited, isn't it? So, also for Halloween activities, I got these little lined up um, pumpkins, little faces on them, from the Home Bargains. Do you want to say they were 99p or 79p? This mini LED wand pumpkin. I don't know if they've got batteries. Oh no, I've, I've not taken the little tab out yet. I don't want to because I think the batteries won't last very long. This is for my youngest, it kind of, I tested a one in store, it kind of like flashes different colours. Um, once again, less than a pound, but can you find a receipt? This lovely guy, <laughs> glowing skeleton, if you can make him out, um, was one pound from George Astor. Got picked him up. We have got um, like autumnal decor, um, weaves and bits and pieces around the house but nothing really like Halloween yeah we'll put that up until um the day they break up from school for the autumn October half term so it'll be something nice for you to come home to it'll be exciting um I got this book for my eldest for Christmas I'm not sure whether to pop it in his activity box um for Christmas time anyway it's kind of like a was I guess it's like a Wise Wally, but it's a Wise Santa. Um, and just, I just love the illustrations. So it says, set off on a festive journey with Santa in search and find adventures to magical kingdoms around the world. It's about Santa and his friends in every scene as he races against time to make his Christmas deliveries. So, like for example, let me see on this page, you have to like spot a Santa and a present and um, like a candy cane. I just think that'll keep him quite entertained. I mean, if it, for parents, if you're in a hurry. <laughs> it also has the solutions so you can help out your little one. Um, and then finally, in Poundland, I picked up these packs of crafters, five by seven inches metallic cards and envelopes that come with a 10 pack. I believe there's silver and gold ones in there. Um, and my intention for these is to give them to my boys over the start of the festive period and we'll just have like, you know, if the weather's a bit grim outside and we haven't got much on them. My intention is for them to make, um, make some like little Christmas cards to send to family or grandparents, aunties, uncles, that sort of thing. I think that will go down a little better than if we just buy generic cards but yeah, there's like the silver ones and gold ones but I mean also you could use these to make tags and make cards and all manner of festive crafts really 
so yeah so that's been my latest haul sorry it's a bit unorganized and i can't for the life of me find where i put that receipt i thought i'd set it aside but there you have it in bargains really need to just pop the price and everything don't they <laughs> just would make things a hell of a lot easier so yeah um stay tuned i've got some more um like autumn inspired crafts i mean if i haven't got enough pumpkins around the house i've got some more to show you and they're, they're quite simple and so cheap to make and honestly you'd be able to make them with things that you've got at home if you wanted to make along um and some other festive hauls coming up so stay tuned and if you like this video and you watch to the end please give it a thumbs up um and thank you i hope you hope you enjoyed it and please consider hitting the subscribe button it's free to do so and it just means that you won't lose me on youtube and you'll find me again and you won't miss out on any of my future videos well so thank you okay see you soon thank you enjoy the rest of your week bye now